Russian President Vladimir Putin paid a state visit to Mongolia on September 3, 2024. As he stepped out of his limousine in the capital Ulaanbaatar, Putin was received by his Mongolian counterpart, Ognagin Korelsok, who took part in the celebrations of the 85th anniversary of the joint victory of Soviet and Mongolian forces over Japan at the Kalkingol River. The leaders discussed prospects for further development of the russian mongolian Comprehensive Strategic Partnership and exchange views on current international and regional issues. They signed agreements on the feasibility study and design of power plants upgrade in Ulaanbaatar to ensure the supply of aviation fuel to Mongolia. Another agreement covered an environment study of a river where Mongolia wants to build a hydroelectric plant that Russia says will pollute Lake Bilka on the Russian side. Putin also outlined plans to develop the railway system between the countries. The trip is Putin's first to a member state of the International Criminal Court since it issued an arrest warrant in March. Ahead of his visit, Ukraine urged Mongolia to hand Putin over the court in The Hague and the European Union expressed concern that Mongolia might not execute the arrest warrant. The ICC has accused Putin of being responsible for the abduction of children from Ukraine. Member states are required to arrest suspects when an arrest warrant is issued, but Mongolia needs to maintain its ties with Russia and the court has no mechanism to enforce its warrants. The arrest warrants thus puts the Mongolian government in a difficult position. After decades of communism, with close ties to the Soviet Union, the transition to democracy in the 1990s and has spurred relations with the United States, Japan and other new partners. But the landlocked country remains economically dependent on its two much larger and more powerful neighbors, Russia and China.